Guys, since it's the month of May, I wanted to make a mental health video. This video is for anyone who peels their skin, bites their nails, pulls their hair, bites their skin, or anyone that carries a nervous tick with them every single day. If you have this nervous tick, then like me, you weren't given the patience that you deserved as a child. Through circumstances of friends and family, maybe you were treated unfairly, yelled at unnecessarily, gone through intense emotions of anxiety, nervousness, just overall bad and intense emotions that a child or a kid should never go through. When going through those intense emotions, our young child minds do not know healthy ways to cope with that. So what we do is develop this nervous tick that can give us some type of control or some type of normalcy when dealing with these intense emotions. Normally it involves something of tearing away at a skin, a nail, or some hair. It's not a very healthy coping habit. And just like me, you probably have overreacted in many situations involving confrontations with friends, with family, workplaces, any situation that's hard to deal with. It normally goes like this. You get triggered, you entertain the thought, you overreact, and then you regret overreacting. And usually you kind of promise or you tell yourself that you're not going to do it again. And then the cycle continues. You're giving into your worst self. You're giving into that damaged child that wasn't treated fairly. See, so there's a connection between that damaged child and that tick that you carry around with you every day. And the fact that you overreact in these situations because your mind was never trained to deal with these tough emotions because you were never given the patience as a kid. And most of the time, when you tell yourself that you're not going to do it again, you just kind of hope that you don't but you don't really do anything else to prepare yourself for that situation and to deal with it correctly so with me that practice started with not peeling my skin anymore i would peel the sides of my skin i would peel the cuticle of my skin and peel it all the way back to the point where it bleeds and it hurts and i do this every time i'm nervous every time i'm anxious i have found that by stopping this nervous tick i have been able to really assess myself in tough situations and not entertain those thoughts and help myself reach that solution without having to overreact. And I just wanted to share this insight that I have found upon myself. And I hope that I can help you guys as well and anyone who's suffering with these nervous tics that we carry with us every single day. And if you guys really care about this, I can add tips on how I helped myself stop my nervous tic. And on top of not peeling my skin, meditation has been very helpful as well. I can also add in a lot of tips on meditation if you guys really like. Alright guys, that's it for today. I will catch you guys next time.